Hello and welcome to my cozy nest. Today I will show you how you can decorate a clay pitcher with paper napkins. This simple decoupage technique can be applied to different objects. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Let us begin. First I apply three coats of white chalk paint. Chalk paint is a great choice because it sticks to surfaces really well compared to acrylic paint. After three coats of white paint, this clay pitcher is ready for decoupage. First I apply decoupage glue on one segment. While the glue is drying, I cut out the individual piece of the napkin. Because I have white background, it is easier to use napkins that have white background as well. This will make the lines between different parts of the napkin less visible. As I was starting out, I ruined so many napkins, mostly because I applied them to very wet glue. Now I let my glue dry a bit before I apply the napkin. This first piece is fairly simple because it is small and it is not on an overly curved surface. Later I will show you another piece that was more difficult because it was larger. As I was applying more the designs and overlapping them, I noticed I made a mistake. This is never a good sign, but I will fix this later and I will show you how. First, let me show you how you deal with a larger piece that is on a very curved surface. Here I made some strategic cuts and this will help me curve the napkin. First, I usually just tap the napkin so it attaches to the surface. And then, using my fingers, I glide across the napkin and smooth out the wrinkles. Because I let my glue dry a bit first, there is less chance of me tearing the napkin because the napkin is not as wet. If this were a glass surface, then this is the part where it usually goes very wrong. The napkin has a tendency to tear because the glass is slippery. But here I use chalk paint as the surface on which I decoupaged and this makes gluing the napkin much easier. And as you can see applying the top coat of glue really smooths out the wrinkles. Sometimes you can lift the portion of the napkin off the surface, but if it is resisting too much, then do not chance it. You will probably tear it. I usually apply one segment after the other, and I don't let the first segment dry before I apply the second one. Because they are overlapping, there is always the danger that I will damage the previous segment when I am gluing on the next one. So I am extra careful when I am gluing the portion where they meet. Here you can see how beautifully the napkin can curve along the handle.
I now move on to fixing that mistake from earlier. I scratch off the remaining pieces of the napkin. Then I cut out a fresh design from the napkin. And I trim it. I could use a larger segment, but I usually only use this part of the segment that is missing. I apply glue over the area and then I carefully place the napkin on it. Once it's dry, it will be difficult to see the mistake. Once everything was dry, I trimmed off the edges of the top. My precision knife was giving me a hard time, so I resorted back to my trusted sanding pad. This is the final part, applying a top coat. I use the matte finish, but you can also use the glossy finish if you want to see the shine. And this is the finished picture. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other decoupage videos. Thank you very much for watching.